people understand has been thrown in the state of frenzy. Everybody is excited for them and especially for those beneath 40 years. This is the first time they're seeing this happen in their uh, town. Now, what is going to happen is that after this, in a week, there's going to be another funeral for the Yana Yakubu and Dani who also died in 2002. Uh, a lot of things are happening in Yendi. It is very busy. At the Flagstar, at the Jubilee House here in Accra, there's been a meeting between some Dagbon chiefs and the president. We have our eyes there as well. We'll be updating you momentarily. At the moment, let's cross over to Yendi, where Justice Beidou is on the ground for us to find out what is happening there. Hello, Justice. Hello, Justice. Hello, Very well. Justice, tell us what's happening at the moment. Uh, the ceremony uh, kicked off early in the morning. Can you give us a wrap uh, of what happened earlier, and then we can go on with what's happening at the moment. Uh, so, I'm back to you now. The ball in Lana uh, have just gone back uh, into the uh, palace, um, and um, a lot of the chili uh, and the many dignitaries that came in to pay homage have also now um, taken their positions. Those who are going to be here for the rest of the activities uh, that are going to come in later in the day uh, have all uh, taken their positions um, in wait for the rest of the activities uh, that are expected to start from about 3 p.m. this afternoon. Um, talking about things that have been happening all day, it's been a show of uh, Dagon culture uh, and heritage here with drumming, uh, dancing, and trooping in of warriors, um, people who signify the culture of the Dagon people, um, firing of musketry, uh, dancing, and, and, and then thousands of people, uh, men and women, who have made their way into the inner perimeters of the, of the Bewa Palace here in Yendi. Uh, the security is really tight, um, as I did indicate earlier. There are three different layers of checks. Um, <clears throat> in fact, four, if you add the one that is getting into the Yendi Town itself for Kamali. Uh, and then once you've, you've gotten into the perimeters where you are getting close to the Yana Palace, uh, there are three different uh, barricades that have been mounted, uh, one by the police, one by the MTTU, and another by the military, um, making sure that um, making sure that everything is all right and, 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 and nobody is coming in with something that could mar the beauty that we've seen uh, on display here this morning. The people I've been speaking to seem excited about this, what, what is happening today. I've spoken with people who are in their mid-20s who tell me that they haven't seen something like this uh, for their entire life, they haven't seen this sort of happiness in the land where they were born. And I've spoken with people who, who had to leave the town at the height of the chiefest crisis that led to the death of several people, including uh, Yana Yakubu and Dani in 2002, and are now saying that we have to return to uh, the land of our best uh, and help rebuild uh, this once vibrant economic uh, of Yendi. Well, well, Justice, uh, the last time I was there, there was a lot of musketry. And looking at the number of people who are coming there, are they still uh, uh, doing musketry? Yes, yes. Um, it, it, it's been a major uh, highlight of what Just, Justice, if you could, if you could reposition a little, we seem to be uh, losing you momentarily uh, because I, I believe of the network. If you could reposition, let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, let's go, go ahead. Okay, let's try to reposition Justice again. But uh, earlier this morning, Justice sent in a report about how the women especially are preparing for this day. And of course, it's not just a, uh, the part of the tradition is that the women get to cook a lot of food. So Justice has been looking at how the women on their side are preparing for this uh, momentous day. We'll go back to Justice uh, as we go along. But watch this. 
all hands on deck. Women, one of the key pillars of the modern day Dagban society, doing one of the many things they do best looking ahead of what should be a big day. Nearly every hand here in Yendi today is very, very busy ahead of the big day. Just behind me are the women who are busy at work cooking many traditional Yagban food, ranging from two zafi um, to many other foods, awaiting for over 40,000 people estimated to be here for this very, very Historic. <laughs> It's been a long time coming and people here have been waiting for this funeral for decades. This is the family home of the late Yana, where his wives lived. And it is from here that some of the thousands who would be trooping in for his funeral would be fed. <laughs> Nyamia be a quaint, Bibia or Nimre, and see a nay a funny say, Yamimre Nimrepa, and Nemrena Su say, a bay yin, Yaniaji, a Danyamiasi. We are trying to to close up the the Abudus and Andani. You find a, a, a house that is belonging to Andani, but you find Abudu inside the house, uh, uh, you know, the visitor inside living in the in the house. Uh, I mean, the women living there, cooking, doing everything there together. If you go to Katim, which is the key, a, a, a key to the funeral, it's full up of women. So women have a key role to play when it's time for Yana funeral. There's variety of food being cooked here today, from shinkamfa, wache, and even jollof rice. This funeral may be a solemn moment for many people in this town, but it sure promises to also be a good time to make merry, and there would be plenty of food to go with the party. Justice Beidou, join us, Yendi. So that report was put together by Justice Beidou, who is still on the ground for us. But of course, between here and Yendi, there seems to be network challenges that makes it a bit difficult to raise justice back on the line. But we're trying to raise justice back on the line. And while we wait, and whilst we're telling you about the part of the Yendi culture, which is about the food, which Justice has just told you about. Now, let me tell you about the musketry, the musketry and the procession of cheese, which is key uh, in, this, in these funeral uh, rite ceremonies. Here is a report that I put together about that. Gunshots, not of live bullet, but musketry. This has not happened in Dagbom for over 40 years. Everybody is very excited because about 40 years now, nobody didn't see this. About the younger people, they didn't see that. So we are just coming to see. Yes. So uh -huh. for the young, for the, a lot of the young people, this is a new thing for yeah, them. They have never seen this happen. They never see this happen. Okay. Since 1968, up to now, they never see that. So people are here to see it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and for you, you are beyond 40, right? Uh, I'm, I'm beyond 40. I've ever seen it. Not okay. today I was there, but I was just a small boy. Okay. Yes. So how does it feel? Is it different? Oh, no, it's different. But at that time, people were not so light like that. Okay. Today, people are so, the crowd is so much. The crowd is so uh, much. Okay. And then what they are saying that the traditional, they are saying that if uh, uh, anything is delaying, the day has, hasn't come yet. That's what the drummers are saying. Okay, well, so the drums that we are hearing yes, is saying that if yes. anything has delayed... Yes, the day hasn't come yet. The day hasn't come yeah, yet. If the day has come yet, it will magically do will happen. happen. So for those younger than 40, this is a rare sight of their heritage and history 
and they can't hold back the curiosity. On the streets of Dagmao, chiefs and sub-chiefs ride triumphantly on their customized horses and amidst drumming and dancing, a grand procession leads to the Bewa Palace. Here, you don't need a special uniform to be identified as a warrior. You were born one, into a lineage of warriors and called to task, a call you must heed. So the chiefs come along with their gun-wielding warriors who do not miss a chance to prove their readiness, abilities and skills as far as opening fire is concerned. At least this fire is not as deadly, but they hasten to add who say this can also cause you a whole lot of pain. And their women are ever ready with support for their warriors. The beauty of the bound tradition on display, but this has not come on a silver platter. Many have been wounded physically, mentally and emotionally, whilst others have been left with regrets and losses of their loved ones who paid the ultimate price. It was a conflict of brothers from the same father. From a painful past, it looks like finally light appeared at the end of the Dagbaum Tunnel, a light the youth especially have been calling for. Kifti and Opia join us. Yendi, Northern Me. And certainly that is a moment a lot of them have been waiting for. And as we go along, I'll bring you a, a conversation that I had with a panel of women, natives of Dagbon, who had issues, who had concerns, who are saying that enough is enough. Let's go back to Yendi. Justice is on the line with us. Hello, Justice. We lost you a lot as we were going along. But earlier, uh, when I was there, I spoke to the Bolin Lana, uh, whose palace you are at the moment. Uh, just as he spoke about this day and the preparations, he was expecting that there will be a lot more of security personnel. He was also asking for support in terms of health personnel who will be stationed there due to the numbers they were expecting and how uh, the presence of such health personnel could help. What is the situation on the ground as far as health uh, support from health personnel uh, is concerned? Uh, so I, I have seen um, um, a, 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 an ambulance which is stationed here as a, as a, in, in the inner perimeter of the, of the Bewana Palace. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also seen um, a couple of medics who are working um, around, um, but have not really, um, because also because the security is working at the, around the clock, there hasn't been any reported case of someone needing uh, that sort of service that has been brought to my attention. But of course, they are stationed here and waiting for that sort of emergency to arise. And I, I, I am sure they would be up to the task. Um, um, I, I was speaking about the things to expect as the day uh, goes by, as we, we, we go into the second phase of what is going to happen today. The Bolin Lana is expected to uh, come out. Um, at about 3 p.m., uh, I'm told, um, and then mount the horse uh, and then go around the palace uh, three times. Uh, and that process is going to last from about 3 p.m. Uh, to about 6 p.m. Um, that, I understand, is the major highlight of the funeral process today. Uh, and that is one of the traditions that has to be, to, to, to be done uh, to, to, to show that this uh, funeral that everybody has been waiting for for more than three decades now uh, have indeed uh, come and, 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 and gone uh, today. Um, and then following from that, I understand going into the night, uh, there, there are other rituals that also need to be performed, which means also that uh, people would have to get indoors because 
according to the the, the, the chiefs and the people have been speaking words. Uh, nobody is supposed to see those rituals that are going to be done um, late into the night today. Um, and so, yes, it's still drumming, dancing, and more of merrymaking uh, for many people who have made their way into the Bewana Palace. I've seen many government officials uh, who have also been coming here and paying homage to the Bolin Lana uh, and, and then also been um, monitoring the situation on the other side of the fence, which is the part of the palace currently occupied by members of the Andani Gate. Uh, there are quite a number of people who are also hanging around, lodging around uh, that palace, um, obviously um, laying in wait for the turn, which is in about a week, to begin their own process of ensuring that the funeral of the late Yana Yakubu Andani, uh, who, was, uh, who died in 2002, is also performed beginning from the 4th of January. Mm. I attempted as well to speak to the, uh, uh, the Andani Gates the last time I was there, and uh, they, they did not go on, on, on record. They did not want to appear in camera. Um, have they been saying anything at all? Not at all. Uh, not at all. They have been really quiet uh, all through the process, even though uh, my understanding from people in the, I mean, the, the, the people who have been speaking on behalf of the um, Abdu, uh, that um, a lot of them, I mean, a lot of uh, people from the Andani side are actively taking part in the processes today. Indeed, um, when I spoke with uh, some of the women, uh, in, in the story about their cooking activities ahead of the funeral, they did tell me that uh, a lot of them have come together. A lot of women from either side of the uh, of, of, of the, 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 the the battle for the Yana um, to stay here uh, have come together, especially the women, uh, to work together towards today's funeral. Even though it is the Abdu Gate that is leading the process and so it goes to show the level of compromise that many of the people here have reached in terms of um, ensuring that there is unity and also that this um, long-standing feud um, that has existed between the two gates is brought to an end of course there are many uh, and, and if you like a few uh, other issues that uh, still remain thorny in terms of the things that people um, want to resolve, and it has to do with um, the transition uh, between what is happening today, which is expected to end tomorrow, uh, and the beginning of the other phase, which is the one that is begun by those on the Andan side. What is going to happen? No one knows mm. how the people from the Abu side are going to uh, go out of this part of the palace to ensure that the other uh, side also take over this palace to ensure that their side of the funeral also goes ahead. We are yet not sure um, how that transition is going to be like. My understanding is that the security is going to be stationed here all through uh, this period to ensure that the, the, the transition is smooth. I have seen a uh, plea pick up vehicles from nearly every single district um, of this region, which goes to show the level of deployment of security men uh, that has been done here in the Yendi municipality. And so I, I anticipate that that process would, would, would come on um, mm. smoothly. Uh, but of course, like I said, there are um, few thorny issues that need to be, go, uh, need to be uh, trashed out ahead of the second part of the funeral detail. Certainly, and Justice, uh, we'll have you hold briefly. We'll come back to you. But before we let you go, though, give us a, a, a wrap of what is to be um, expected. You say at 3 p.m., and we're just about 10 minutes shy of 3 p.m., um, that is going to happen. Are there any prior preparations towards this 3 p.m. horse ride? Yes, yeah, so, so, um, so the, I haven't yet seen, I've seen many horses being ridden um, by different uh, chiefs who have come in here. But I haven't seen the particular uh, horse that the Bolin Lana is going to mount. And so 
Um, but we, we, we've been given assurances that at about 3 p.m., that um, activity is expected to start. And so as I speak to you now, uh, the bowling lana is inside the palace, and my understanding is that he's being prepared to, uh, for that process of mounting the horse. And, and once he comes out, that would be, like I said, a major highlight. And I expect the, 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 the crowd, which is the big crowd in this, which is gathered here, uh, to, 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 to go agog once that process begins. And mm. it's going to run up until about 6 p.m. Um, and then once that is done, uh, the, the merrymaking, the dancing, the drumming would continue um, deep into the night until the time when the other rituals, um, if you like the secret rituals that are expected to be done, uh, would come on. My expectation and from the information I'm taking is that because that is supposed to be a secret um, ritual, um, it is going to be done at a time when uh, everybody has left the inner perimeters of the Bewana Palace. Um, yes, and so and so we 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 are we are all here waiting for for that. And 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 this this is in, there's a huge coverage for this. I've seen many uh, media houses also here um, covering this both at the local level, local radio stations and national level uh, media houses who are all taking the feet from um, this particular process today. So yes. We would be on standby, and we'll be coming through with many other um, reports from the different sides of the palace at the point they have to Very well, Justice. Thank you very much. We'll be coming to you momentarily, as I indicated. But speaking of the Bolin Lana, I spoke to him earlier, and at the time we spoke, he was speaking in anticipation of this day. Uh, of course, you know that he's a leader of the Abudu Gate, and he was speaking about preparations for this particular day. Again, he spoke about the number, uh, the number of people that are expected to be there. He expects he envisaged that it will be a huge number, and so at the time he was calling for uh, more security personnel. He was calling for more health personnel, just in case uh, someone cannot stand the intense heat that generates when a lot of people like that gather. Well, here is that interview that I had with him earlier. He's very grateful and you are most welcome. So far, since Friday up to now, things are very normal and all the process are going very well. All those who are supposed to be part of it, they are participating. And every activity is going on till the end of the funeral. And that will take place on the 27th this March. That very day where all chiefs are going to be guarded and help him to finish up the process. And the following day, Friday, will be the end of the process whereby the final Adua prayer will take place. The funeral is not for Aburu alone. The funeral is for Dagbang. And as far as Dagbang is concerned, everybody will be here that very day, both chiefs and self-chiefs from Aburu and Andani, everybody will be here. It is his prayer that the process get to the end very peaceful and nobody have any problem. You realize that the crowd is not going to be a small team. People haven't seen this for the past 50 years. Actually, so he expects these numbers, and it's not only the Gombes, other tribe, Baseres, Chekosis, all these people will be here that very day. A lot of uh, committees have been put across in terms of to support security, accommodation, health, so in case anybody have pro health problems. So he hoped that things will be okay. And no, no, nobody will have any problem up to the end of this the process. He hoped everybody will be well. And it is his hope that things will be very peaceful and everybody will follow the process. He's also calling for a support that very day in terms of health and any other problem that is going to uh, happen. In fact, additional support because of the crowd that will be having here. For him, things will be peaceful. He's appealing to everybody to come here and support him without any problem.
He is very grateful. He wants to thank all those who support for the process to start and especially government, the eminent committee and whoever supported it. So we're here at the Ikbewa Palace. We've just finished having an interaction here. And as you heard, the message has been for peace and for unity. That was earlier when I spoke to the Bolin Lana who was anticipating what would happen this day. So justice has been there. Uh, let's get you to, uh, uh, to Yendi again. Justice tells us how the mood has been at the palace. Good morning, Daniel. Uh, and I'm live the inside perimeters of the Nagbewa Palace where uh, the Bolin Lana, as you can see uh, from behind me, is currently seated um, in state um, and receiving um, many of the sub chiefs from across the Dagbon area who have come from many many communities uh, to pay homage to him ahead of the very big funeral that is expected later this afternoon. Uh, this is what has been happening uh, all day since morning. Um, the inside perimeters of the of the Bewa Palace itself is currently packed at the moment and the security is seriously tight. Uh, as I did indicate in the morning, there are, there's currently about three different layers of security checks before anybody is out the, the Nagbewa Palace. Uh, we understand that uh, this homemade pain that is currently going now would continue to late in the afternoon um, until the Bolin Lana um, gets onto uh, a horse to go round the, the Bewa Palace uh, three times uh, in, in, in a cultural display which is said to be uh, a very special part of this funeral uh, process. Well, those are visuals from Yendi. And at 3 p.m., we understand that the horse ride will begin. We'll do our best to bring you up to speed on what's happening. But one of the key things amongst everything that's happening for the women and for the people in Dagbon is peace. They've said that, look, it's been many years of conflict. We've had enough. This is the time to give peace a chance. So on my trip there, I empaneled a, uh, I empaneled a team of women who speak about their expectations of the new Dagbon moving forward from these ceremonies. So we've been here in Yendi for some time now, and uh, we're here looking at how the funeral rites, you know, uh, processes have gone so far. Today, as part of the programming, there was a lecture here. Now that lecture basically uh, focused on building patriotic citizens, the life and the works of His Majesty Yana Mahmoudou Abdullah the Fourth, and then the new Dagbon. Now, now that's the part that interests a lot of people, especially the young people. The new Dagbon. What is it that they want to see in the new Dagbon? They've lived through, and I'm here with a couple of women, they've lived through the conflict, I'm sure, and they know what they want to see in the new Dagbon. I'm going to engage them in a very quick conversation to find out what are the things that matter to them. So I'm going to ask you, ladies, you're welcome. I'm going to ask each of you to tell me your name. By the way, uh, they'll be speaking, some of them will be speaking Dagbani, and I will have a translation. So let me start with you. What's your name? Aminatu Abdullah. You are welcome. What's your name? I'm Aisha Golden. Aisha? Golden. Aisha Go Golden. Yes. Golden. Oh, that's a very nice name. Aisha Golden. Okay. Maybe I'll try your friend saying. Okay, please, what's your name? Zainab Isahako. Zainab Isahako. So I am going to start with you, Aisha. You look pretty young to me. Um, what, when someone says, I am from a place, it means something to them. What does coming from Yendi mean to you? Or what does being a person who is... Uh, a Dagbon person mean to you? Thank you for your interesting question. Actually, being a Dagomba is a pride to me. Um, we have come a long way, and 
it is a great pleasure at this to be in Dagbang at this special moment to experience this funeral of the Yanas for the first time in history. Yeah. So you are below 40, right? Yes, please. And I understand that if you are below 40, you have never seen anything like this happen since you were born. Yes, uh, yes, please. This is our first experience. So does it mean anything to you, the funeral, the, the, the funeral celebrations or the uh, funeral rites that you're witnessing? What exactly does it mean to you? It means a lot to us because as a young graduate, um, without job. Actually, I wouldn't say I have no job because I'm doing my own things. But then, the conflicts between the Abudus and the Andanis have brought us too slow, too down, if I may say. So now that they are coming to perform their funerals, in, in fact, we are hoping to see a new Dagbang. Dagbang with dignity. We are hoping to bring back the Dagbang we know. Bring back the Dagbon we know. We'll talk about that momentarily. But let me come to uh, Auntie here and find out from her. Ask her for me, what does being a Dagomba mean to her? I'm mm -hmm. I'm She's like, um, they want to see improvement. They want to see sanity in Dagban. And they have come to realize that this is the time. This is the time for Dagban to grow up again. When she says that this is the time, it sounds very deep to me. What does she really mean by this is the time? This is the time. So, okay. so na ya ne pompongo nsu ne dagba malma wula nya le santa ne ya ne pompongo to bo na dagba malma te ma te gba ne yisina te pala ma te mal bihe kamal bi de se bi fo se ka bi chen shi kote ka to bo na kamam bo gba ni niege ama la la bon ngoma ay biene de ha guma ara bal taara zo to to no no la so pele na na on cheka dagba malle ka te min te bi ma ka te chan tole ka bi ha guma te za ha they are hoping there will be peace in Dagban so that their children, we, their children, can go to schools and be better people tomorrow. Certainly, and that is the wish of any well-meaning mother. You want to see your children progress. But of course, you cannot progress in conflict. And so she says what they want is peace. Now, let me go on and ask my other ladies here uh, what being a Dagomba means to them and what they want to see in the new Dagbon. What does being a Dagomba mean to you? I <laughs> Dagbang mi ni sa'an halli ni zungu. Ti za'na ba ayba zan tanga. So kam jela zuk sa'a. Mel kwa unum da kana yongo te biyane. Ke yene ti yongo ka suhudu ka kwa ba bani. Pala ni mi yikana ba zwar mi. Tun tum de sung kam yikana nu te sung te. Oye mene te naya. Ti zwar rada biya. And then we'll continue with what she's saying. Okay. She's saying in short that Dagbang need peace. So that development can come in. As it was in the um, conflict period. Anybody who comes here to do business or do investment, we say there is no peace in Dagbang. We don't rest, so we cannot settle in Dagbang. So they will finally leave the town instead of progressing with their work. So that is a conversation that I led a team of women there, a panel of women uh, in, in Yendi, to have that conversation.